G'day guys, welcome back to our episode. This episode, we are at Fraser Island. Alrighty guys, so, uh, goes. <laughs> Shit, eh? good start. Sweet as, so we're on our way up to the Sandy Cape, so we didn't have any plan, but we got here and decided we're just gonna steam right up to the Northern Point and then stop at all the different places on the way back down. Shani and I have got a week up here without the kids. We are in isolation. We are currently in isolation. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, we'll, but yeah, we are just cruising up and we drove past Eli Creek and I just looked too good not to stop, man. It's so it's fresh, beautiful. so nice fresh water it's a little fish all through it we're just gonna walk up and cruise down the creek a bit of swimming shiny might try a bit of floating <laughs> <laughs> especially in fresh water Eli Creek is normally like flat out full of people um, so feeling pretty blessed that it isn't too busy today yeah, it's not a person in sight right now. check it out done at Eli Creek for today. We'll definitely be back though, but for now we're going to keep steaming up north, heading up towards the Sandy Cape. There you go, there's one of the dingoes on Fraser Island. Dingo might look like a really like skinny dog, but they are quite lean naturally. It's just the way they, they are and the way they look um, in the natural environment. So as hungry as they may look, don't feed them. It's not a good idea. What you doing there, Antonio? I'm just rigging up my fishing rod. Nice, yeah. Bought all this today. Yeah. I don't even was. know. I don't even think you know. Me? <laughs> I got no idea. I don't know. We have fish. no idea, but he went into BCF and came out with this half an hour later. So we'll give it a give it a crack. As soon as he threw the lure in, a massive fish just jumped up. Let's hope he grabbed something. He's on! First fish of the trip! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh right. He dropped it! Dropped it! Son of a bitch! Alright, we'll go again. Go again, alright. Watch yourself. She's trying to kill me, that lure was like this far away from my head. You're nuts! Alright, we had a hit here, but no luck. We'll go find another gutter to fish. Yeah, sounds good!
We are bogged for the first time ever, ever. man. We've done loads of full driving and stuff, loads of beach driving, but here we are at Nagala Rocks and check out this like washed out section. Give me a better view from up here. Bit of a drop down and a climb up. It's almost like mud. Like look at it, it's all over my hands. It's really like real sloppy stuff. See? And um, yeah, we kind of got a bit, we kind of got a bit stuck, but um, thankfully I got some new recovery tracks before we, uh, before we came out to Fraser. Little green baddie there. I bought the tread ones, um, a bit of an upgrade from the eBay ones that I had beforehand, and they're working great. Like, I've, this is my second go with them, um, up out of this bog anyway, and yeah, I'm just about out, nice and easy. Yeah, but man. That could have been ugly if I didn't have those. Definitely if we have a nice view. Right. <laughs> yeah, we were stuck right down the bottom there. And I'm not sure just how high that water comes up. Um, but I didn't want to find out, so let's get out of here. And now we've got to change a flat tire. Love it, right? <laughs> Well, we finally made it. It's 8.30 and we've just made it to our first camp spot for the week. And yeah, it's been a bit, <laughs> bit of a story to tell and we'll tell it tomorrow. So we just quickly whipped up some dinner, mushroom burgers. This is the best feta ever. Avocado, green stuff, shallots, tomatoes, and it's gonna be epic. Good morning guys. Alright, we have um, we stayed our first night at Wadi Point Top Campground. Uh, didn't quite make it to the Cape like we planned um, yesterday. But yeah, this is where we stayed last night. A little camp spot. Everyone's kind of all packed away now. We just got up in the morning and got straight into it. And it was raining on and off so we kind of had to wait for like a little dry part to fold everything up and the rest of it. But got it sorted to check out the dirt and sand stuck underneath here from yesterday, from last night. Unreal, man. Brought half of the Nagala rocks back with me by the looks of it. We had a pretty eventful afternoon yesterday. Oh, mate, did we ever. <laughs> so pretty unexpected. Our plan was just to head straight to the Sandy Cape and camp up there and make our way back down the island for the rest of the week. Um, however, um, Nagala rocks was a bit rough, so those of you familiar with Nagala Rocks, that soft sand section just right after the water, um, the little water crossing there, just wasn't there anymore. Uh, it's just been eroded and washed away, I'm guessing from like rain and, um, and a, a lot of high tides and stuff like that. But we tried to cross it anyway um, and we got stuck, but we made our way out with some Max Tracks, <laughs> uh, not Max Tracks, sorry. We made our way out with um, the Tread Recovery Tracks I just bought, so thank God I bought those the other day. Um, and another guy pulled up and he wanted to get through so he just snatched us up the last little bit which was very helpful um, Thanks to you dude if you watch this <laughs> um, We got a little bit of footage of yeah. it luckily it was such a nice sunset So it wasn't, yeah, a, it wasn't bad a bad place, place to, be stuck. <laughs> to be stuck I popped the beads on two of the tires as well, which is unbelievable the one on the front that went um, sealed itself back up, so I just reinflated that. Was no dramas, and the rear I had to um, I had to jack it up, uh, clean away any like debris, sand, and stuff all stuck in it, and then thankfully it pumped back up, resealed the bead, and we were good to go again. But it was a mission to do. It was night time by then, and we finished that. Trying to head up to the Cape still. Um, at that time, the higher tide was well and truly in. We couldn't get through, so we had to go back through um, that shitty little boggy hole there at Nagala Rocks. Can you imagine that, like how we were feeling? Yeah, we were just kind of stuck. <laughs> like, we were just we kind of stuck in between um, the beach and because no one else is going to pass the through there at that time. Of yeah, night, like. but we made it. I just chucked yeah. the tracks down, so I, I walked it a fair few times. I found the softer spots, um, and I just like strategically placed the, the tracks. Um, where I thought we were going to be like problem areas and just gave it the berries man just put my foot down and went it yeah. and we and got through we got through yeah we got through nothing broke besides one of our bowls 
but I suppose who brings ceramic bowls camping, right? But yeah, and we made it out to um, made it out to Waddy Point camping area. That's where we ended up staying last night. It's a good little spot, Waddy Point. You want to tell them about it, Charney? Uh, not really. Like, I'll keep talking then. <laughs> okay. Sweet. So we stayed at Waddy Point campground last night. It's, um, it's quite a nice place to stay. Uh, they got the dingo fence right around it, so it's fully enclosed. Um, safe for kids, obviously, to run around and stuff. Give you a bit of a break from keeping your eye on them all the time. There was water close by. Waddy Point is one of the only places on Fraser Islands where you can have a fire, an open fire, but they do have little fire rings that you need to have the fire within. So that was pretty cool. We didn't actually have a fire because we got in at like 8.30 last night. Just wave to everyone that drives past you here, so I just had to do some waving. But we're back to it now. A lot of trailer, um, a lot of trailer places, so you can pull trailers right up to your campsites. If you obviously got rooftop tents or whatever, you want to swag it right next to your car like we did last night, that's got that there. They've got tent sites where you can carry your tents into um, separate areas and that as well. Uh, dishwashing facility, a really big and fairly clean amenities. We thought the showers were unisex showers. <laughs> oh yeah, we thought the showers were communal showers last night. We didn't actually see the male and female symbols, obviously being nighttime. But everyone. But everyone was like, there were boys and the girls. There were girls and the boys. It so was, uh, keep your kids away out of the shower block from 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, that's an adult-only zone, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. There were some things going on in those showers last night. I can tell you that much. Anyway. I know I said there were no bins at Waddy Point, you have to take it with you, but we just come across the bin station on our way to Withumba Creek and there are a lot of bins there. So of course we have forgotten a couple of things, but one of the most important things that we have forgotten was our paper Hema Fraser Island map. We always use paper maps when we're traveling around, it's just so much easier to see all the roads and the camp spots and just gives a good level of detail that you want when you're touring somewhere especially somewhere new but just downloaded one on my phone a little version that's on the Fraser Island website so that's helping us get around for now <laughs> I have also saved this venomous tree that is on this island so that I can identify it if we come across it <laughs> so our plan for today is we're just heading out west to Wathumba gonna camp there do a bit of fishing maybe get the tinny out hopefully we catch a fish yeah that... it seemed promising <laughs> yesterday yeah it did seem promising yesterday so yeah fingers crossed it should be a good day I'm trying to dedicate the day to catch a fish <laughs> from Wadi Point to Bukamba, but look how beautiful it is. How wet the sand is. Man, how good's this? <laughs> I've had a couple times now is how do you get the tinny on and off the roof? Um, I just do it manually. I lift it on, I lift it off. I'll, I guess I'll run you guys through how I do it. It's unstrapped to start with. Grab the wheels. Make sure the 
this lid up. Bring it out of my leg like that. Make the position of my hands. Just like that. Put the wheels back on. Pull back in. Oh, these new wheels, mate, I tell you they're rolling. They're rolling. Oh, they're rolling. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have some good news. Check out those nice new wheels on the tinny. We finally did it. We got some new wheels. I love them. It actually rolls now, it's unbelievable. So much better. Safety first. Bit of natural zinc. <laughs> that was a terrible car. This is my new lure I picked. It's got a red head, silver body. Don't know much about it, nothing about it, but it looks cool. And we've just lost two of those in a space of like two minutes. I think it's a big mackerel that just chomped on it and it just ripped it off. And he's on. Bring him in, babe. Come on. Don't let him go. Don't drop him. <laughs> you got this. You got this. A lizard fish. They look poisonous. So it turns out they weren't actually lizard fish. They were grinners. My bad. So just replace lizard fish with grinners from now on. We're just doing a bit of trawling today. Um, we've got a metal slug on the end there. So it's just like your silver shiny lure. I already lost one of them. Shiny got a hit. Not really the best conditions to be out here fishing though. It's blowing 12 to 15 knots. This tinny's three meters long. Shiny's taking the piss out of me. Ooh. Ooh. Shiny's on another fish. Come on, babe, bring him in. Far out. The lizard fish are thick today. There's a lot of them out, eh? Bring him in. We'll give you guys a look at this guy. So, yeah, I call these guys lizard fish. I don't know if they have a proper name or not. Um, I don't even know if you can eat them, to be honest. I haven't heard great things about people that have eaten them. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just release this guy, let him go. Man, there is a tiger shark over there that's bigger than our tinny. Holy shit. Really, I didn't like to find him. That's nuts, man. That's the first time I've ever seen like a big shark out in the water. My heart's cold, eh? Woo! Yeah, that thing was bigger than the boat. Oh, man. You know, it's a like if we were that close, you could see that it was a tiger shark. Just. Oh, man. Woo! -hoo! We're not going to have much luck trying to find him, though, I don't think. Shit, man. Yeah, about two meters from the boat. Just cruising past. Just cruising past. Shit, I can't believe we missed it with camera. Ah! First fish on the new law change. Is it a new lure or a new lure change, babe? <laughs> it's a new lure change. Oh, okay. It's, it's different. It is different. Yes, it's something different. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I got my first. Oh, 
changeover. Now I've got this mini mullet. Antonio's checking my note. Did I pass? Yeah, that's a good one. Woo! Honestly, I'm shocking at tying knots. Every time I do one, I have to get Antonio to test it for me. And like three out of five times, I fail. What do you got, babe? I reckon another lizard fish. How many is that today? Oh, ten. Probably more, eh? Look what we got, guys. It's a flathead. It's a flatty. up on this little beach on the western side of Fraser. There's not a person in sight. You can see a sailboat out there. That's it. He's ages away. Oh man, this is so good. Just fill it up our flathead, well, Shani's flathead she caught. Woo! That's one fill up there. Beautiful. And with the frame, what we're gonna do is chuck in a crab pot. Just in the mangroves over there. Near that beautiful sunset you guys can see. <laughs> it does look and good. Yeah, hopefully with no waste, we can keep this guy using his crab bait. Fingers crossed we get a mud crab. Woo! All right, so we're just gonna zip tie this guy into our crab pot. so he doesn't get taken off, taken away by another fish or taken away by the crabs. Perfect. Ooh. Alrighty, go chuck him in the water. Uh, so we're going to skin our fillets now. The way I do it isn't the best way because I'm no fisherman or nothing like that, but I just cut into that. So I've got something to grab with the skin at the end there. And I push the knife nice and flat. It helps if you have a filling knife because they're flexible. You can get it back and forward. Get the knife kind of held fairly flat to the surface. Look at that, perfect. No meat left on that at all. One beautiful fillet. Our bone skinned flathead fillets. This guy was swimming around probably about what, two hours ago? Yeah. But he's lunch, short for lunch. He's dinner for us now, so. Beautiful. Yeah. We just got butter in then. Normally we have our fish, we um, lightly coat it with flour and, and, then, and, and then salt and pepper. But we didn't bring any flour and we didn't bring any breadcrumbs, so... Salt, pepper it is. Show us the wraps you're preparing, babe. What do we got? Okay. We got a little bit of tomati, green stuff, avocado, Persian feta, and... Oh, the secret mayo sauce you like. Yummy. Gotta have the secret sauce. Look at that. Fresh. Looks good, eh? Have a bit more fish
Check out the sky. That is unreal. Mosquitoes are thick though. Oh, look, we got that thermocell. I don't think I've shown you guys that. So we just picked this up from Bunnings a couple of days ago for the trip. And I rate it. I reckon it's working. What do you reckon? It works pretty well. Like yeah. the mozzies are super thick here. They are so thick. Like you can just see them in like the tens flying together. The tens. Tens, tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. <laughs> I can hear them in my ears. Oh, yeah. Whew. But yeah, they are quite expensive really, but this was about forty dollars, and then you get it runs off butane, and they have these little what do they call them? Just the little mozzie repellent strips. Just yeah, the mozzie repellent strips, and you need to replace them every four hours as well. Cool. Also, sorry, you get twelve hours out of one butane cartridge. So. Antonio reckons he's the mozzie repellent three thousand. <laughs> oh, that G force. G force. <laughs> And shout out to our mate Matt. Thanks for loaning us your swag. It's actually John's swag. Oh, this one's John's. Swagger John. Swagger John. <laughs>